What's up, guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Very, very exciting day here, guys. Apple has released the final version of iOS 11.1. And in this video, I wanted to actually talk about some of the new features, the performance, the bug fixes, and the speed and the battery life of iOS 11.1. Everything you need to know about the new release. So let's jump right into the video. So iOS 11.1 is compatible with the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. I do have iOS 11.1 installed here on my iPhone 7, and I'm very, very excited to show you guys this release. Now, just a note before we actually start, if you do have iOS 11.1 Beta 5 installed on your device, the final public release is the same build number as iOS 11.1 Beta 5, so there is no difference between the Beta 5 we saw last week and this final release, but I do have the final release installed here on my iPhone. So let's jump into the download itself, guys. Guys, I'll go into the Photos app here, and you guys can see that on my iPhone 7, 11.1 .1 came in at 305.8 megabytes. So actually not too big of an update compared to what we've seen in the past. And they did have a little bit of a change log here that said iOS 11.1 .1 introduces over 70 new emojis and includes bug fixes and improvements. Before I jump into the features here, I want to show you guys the before and after install. You guys can see that before installing, I actually had 91.52 gigabytes available. After installing, I had 91.55. Not too much difference there really you're not going to change too much in the storage of your device we do gain slightly a little bit back which is always nice now feature wise jumping into the change log a little bit further they did include new emojis which i'll show you guys in a second but they did list a whole new bunch of features here guys they added some new features to photos resolved a bunch of issues same deal with accessibility and they also added a bunch of new improvements here so when you guys actually go to download this you can download on your device or on your computer as we have seen in the past just like every other firmware update you will see the same change change log you can see all the same changes and you can update the same way that you usually did lots of new changes in this release guys so very very excited to see this so i'm going to walk you guys through some of the major features here let's jump into the new emojis so i'll go into the notes application here and apple says they've included over 70 new emojis here guys so if you actually scroll through you'll be able to see all of the new emojis here you can see they've added some funny ones like a new throw up one or whatever um, they've also added let's say a money one all new faces here guys new hand symbols a lot of new emojis in in here and I really do like using these emojis when you upgrade to 11.1 .1, the final release it will show you all the emojis whether you're texting or typing in the internet anywhere on iOS definitely worth it to download another feature I'm very very excited to see that they brought back in iOS 11.1 .1 is the 3d multitasking so all you have to do is go on the left side here you can use 3d touch you can swipe between applications just like that if you push down fully you can get directly into the apps which are right there so really really cool guys really happy to see that implemented on iOS 11.1 point one again this was in ios 10 and then they removed it for ios 11 nice to see it back in ios 11.1 now those are the major features included in the change log if you jump into the change log yourself you'll be able to see all of the minor new features they've added but i really like those two new features i just showed you those are the two major ones you'll find in the newest release that being said there are a ton of bug fixes guys let's jump into those so first off my favorite bug fix has been implemented guys finally the 3d touch lag is no longer there it's right back to normal so no more waiting for 3d touch to work it's not stuttered or anything it works perfectly fine so great to see they fixed that bug many of the bug fixes are actually under the hood in security so security has been vastly updated guys specifically the most important fix in ios 11.1 .1 is that the wpa2 crack bug that allowed hackers to actually access your device and your information through the wi-fi chip on your device has been patched so no need to worry about that anymore and there are numerous other fixes under the hood that we can't see but are keeping our devices very stable and very secure so great job Apple with implementing those. Let's talk about performance and battery life. So first off, animations are a little bit smoother and a lot more stable. So there's a lot of changes here in animations. You're just gonna have to play around until you really notice them, but they are noticeably better in my opinion. It does seem a lot more buttery smooth than iOS 11 was on my iPhone 7 and I've noticed that it is so much smoother. Along with that, the speed has definitely improved from iOS 11, guys. Everything feels just a little bit more stable. With the security updates, guys, it's a very, very solid update. Battery life is also great. On iOS 11.1, I've gotten the best battery life I've ever gotten in an iOS 11 release to date. This is the same release as Beta 5 and battery was never an issue on my iPhone 7 with Beta 5, so I expect battery to even get better with time. So if you do have issues with battery life, however, I do have a video that can help you out and remedy some of those issues and improve the battery life. I will have that linked to this video, guys. But the great news is that the battery life is always improving, and I've noticed it's great in this final release.
release. Now all of these positive items being mentioned, there are a couple negatives, there are some items missing. Some of the main items missing from iOS 11 are within the calculator, guys. If I go into the calculator, the calculator bug has not been fixed. If you go ahead and type in values very quickly, it does not give you correct results. So I'll show you, due to the animations, it doesn't work. So I'll show you that, guys, now. One plus two plus three equals, see, it's 24. So the animations don't actually show the correct results. I'll do it again just to show you. One plus two plus three. It doesn't work correctly because the animations kind of mess up when you type the buttons here. That's still not fixed. It is fixed in 11.2 beta, however, so this should be pushed out soon. But that is still present in iOS 11.1. Very, very annoying. It is fixable by typing very slow, but if you type fast, it won't work. Apple peer-to-peer -peer payments also have not been enabled yet, and iMessages in the cloud have not been enabled yet in this release, so I expect that to be rolled out after the iPhone 10 is released. Those are some problems with iOS 11. I hope that they implement those new features and fix the calculator bug very, very soon. So overall, should you update? Absolutely, guys, if you do care about bug fixes, emojis, the 3D Touch app switcher, better performance and battery life, this is a very worthwhile update for you. The only time I would see holding off would be if you have an older device like the iPhone 5S, perhaps. Probably would make your device slower. It shouldn't be too slow, but if you find yourself worrying about this, then maybe it should be a better decision to stay on a lower firmware. If you do have one of the more recent devices, though, I definitely recommend upgrading. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy iOS 11.1. I've been loving it so far. I will have iPhone 10 videos coming this Friday when it is released, so definitely stay tuned for that guys and as always be sure to drop a like on this video if you liked it subscribe and i will have my twitter facebook google plus website instagram patreon page and all my social media links in the description follow those really really appreciate that guys as always thank you for watching stay awesome and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace